You're watching Channel 2, Houston's home for news. The North Korea nuclear risk intensifies tonight. Just within the past hour, this from North Korea, saying it will complete a plan to attack waters near Guam by mid-August. Just the latest in threats being traded between North Korea and President Trump. A Houston political scientist is weighing in on all of this tonight. Sarah Donshi joins us in studio with that and more. Sarah? Definitely a tense situation indeed. We are just now getting that response from North Korea, as you said, in the past hour, so this is quickly developing. They have issued a statement. North Korea's military is calling President Trump's warning, quote, a load of nonsense. In the battle of increasingly fiery rhetoric between the U.S. and North Korea, President Trump is throwing another blow on Twitter, touting the U.S. nuclear arsenal as stronger and more powerful than ever before, adding, hopefully we will never have to use it. A stark contrast As to I this. Said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. The president reacting yesterday to news that North Korea now has a nuclear warhead small enough to fit onto a missile. What the president was just reaffirming is the United States has the capability to fully defend itself from any attack and defend our allies, and we will do so. And so the American people should sleep well at night. North Korea's response? A threat to strike the U.S. territory of Guam. Defense Secretary James Mattis today with tough words of his own, warning North Korea would lose any arms race with the U.S. One political science professor from Rice University admits it's a lot to take in, but... People should have a degree of concern because both sides are talking about possibly engaging in, in military action. But I do think the chances of that happening are not that great. Still a lot of people very tense tonight. The Trump administration is putting pressure on China now to get a handle on the situation in North Korea. So guys, a, a lot of attention being paid to this. Absolutely, and something the entire world is watching right now. Sarah, thank you.